Let's see time now, 16 minutes past eight. So last month, Emma Webb set off on a marathon challenge to walk 157 miles while pulling a life-size model of a horse. Now, Emma's walking from Cardiff to London in memory of her daughter Brody, who took her own life at the age of 16 and was a talented rider. Yesterday, Prince William surprised Emma by joining her for a section of the walk, as our reporter, Fiona Lambden, explains. Day 13 of Emma Webb's challenge and it started like no other. <laughs> Keen to show his support, Prince William surprised her, then walked with them through Slough. She goes. We first met Emma and Miles, her 35 kilogram resin horse, as we set them off from Wales in November. She had 158 miles in front of her, every step in memory of her daughter Brody, who took her own life aged just 16. We just spent so much time together, incredibly close, more like sisters than mum and daughter, really. Brodie was a straight-A student and a talented show jumper. The day she died was no different to any other. She always used to blow me a kiss and mouth, um, I love you, as she walked over the road. And that was no different. Since being on the road, Emma starts every morning with a good breakfast. <laughs> Oh, we saw you on BBC Breakfast last Saturday. And waiting outside, locals who are keen to join her for the day. Feel free to help push, pull or shove. <laughs> Raising awareness of suicide prevention, Emma's kept supporters updated via social media, relying on the kindness of strangers on the toughest of days. It's heavy, isn't it? It's heavy, yeah. <laughs> harder than it looks. It is definitely harder than it looks, uh, especially up hills or on the um, towpath on the canal. It was very, very bumpy. Oh, I really appreciate you coming back, I'm honest. <laughs> Hayden is walking with Emma today. She was Brody Morgan, my daughter was Bronwyn Morgan, and, you know, there's a little link there between the two of them. His daughter Bronwyn was training to be a mental health nurse when she took her life five months after Brody. It's the last thing you think about before you go to sleep and it's the first thing you think about at the, at the start of the day. Um, I think you just got to be strong. What Emma's doing and it's an amazing thing and we've become good pals ever since. Oh, wow, I'd love it. Would you like to stop for a cup of tea, anybody? <laughs> and after five miles, a spontaneous bit of local hospitality en route. Oh, wow, oh, you're kind. Look at that. Just what we need. Really emotional. I mean, that these... She's so brave, and Hayden's so brave. Just, I cannot bear to think what they're going through every day. I didn't think it would be as emotional, but I've learned so much in the short time I've been walking with them. Refreshed, they're back on the road. She's always on your mind. She's always on my mind, yeah, absolutely. And we just keep finding little surprises along the way. I was walking along a busy A4 yesterday. No houses or anything around. And on the, on the ground was a, a plastic horse. So, um, you know, is it a sign? <laughs> I picked it up and he's, yeah. he's coming with me now. Oh. There he is. <laughs> yeah, so, wow. so another little mascot. We've got another horse um, for along the way. What mile are we on now? Um, roughly. A roughly 100 and... 18? 118? Yeah. OK. Well over half. Well over half, Wayne. Well over half. You're nearly there. Yeah. Emma's due to finish in London next week. With so many, including Prince William, helping pull miles across the country, this mother and her resin horse are now not far from the finishing line. Fiona Lambden, BBC News. Emma joins us now. Emma, morning to you. Um, what a day, Good what morning. an experience for you. I mean, I know we spoke really? to you when you set off and we know that you'd be expecting to meet so many different people who would share their experiences. But at Prince William to, at Prince William to acknowledge what you're doing and have a chat, what was it like? What did he say? What did you talk about? <laughs> Well, it was just a, an, an unbelievable experience. Um, Prince William was the last person I expected to bump into in the middle of the streets of Slough, but um, I kind of heard that he had seen um, on the news what I was doing and he liked to do something to support me, but I didn't expect him to uh, jump out on me like that, so uh, it could be quite a fright. Yeah, I can imagine so. Um, Emma, just tell us wh where you're at at the moment. I know this weekend would have been Brodie's 20th birthday and it will be 
a time for even more reflection, I think, for you and family. So you are taking a short break, aren't you, at the moment? Just explain what's happening. Yeah, I, yeah, I always wanted to uh, plan to go back for a few days. Um, you know, I'd uh, never miss, um, you know, sort of remembering Brodie's birthday, and I want to go home and spend the weekend with my family. So at the moment, we're in um, Heathrow Terminal Three. Um, Miles is safely tucked away in the hotel's luggage storage, which is it's quite a squeeze to get him in. So we can't really get him back out very easily. Um, and uh, they've really kindly agreed to keep him here until um, uh, Monday when I return to walk on Tuesday. So um, yeah, he's all safe, and um, I think I've got about another twenty something miles to go. So not far now at all. Uh, morning to you, Emma. It's Charlie here. So, um, Prince William, what an amazing moment that was for you. But I'm sure along the way, uh, what happens, and we've seen it with other people who've been on walks and journeys, people want to share their stories, don't they? And I don't know if that's been your experience too. Yes, absolutely. Um, there's been so many people come out along the way, um, people who have been bereaved by suicide. Um, one gentleman at cycled all the way along the towpath to us he'd actually lost three members of his family to suicide and it was just him left and he, and he really felt like he wanted to come and share his experiences with us and um yeah it's so touching um and um a mum was i think i've had two mums walk with me um this time who um have been very recently bereaved both lost their daughters five months ago so um yeah it, it's so touching um and there's so many people out there who are struggling this in the same way as i am yeah, um, you know, Emma, you probably can't see it where you are, but we're just seeing right now, this is the surprise boom moment uh, from Prince William, because he walks up from behind you, doesn't he? And then the big hug. Um, yeah. Just tell us, because obviously yeah. one of his big themes and what he talks about is mental health, and he's been through trauma himself and, and loss. Were, yeah. uh, you know, were you able to share s stories and, you know, talk in a way that people have... Has suffered loss. There is a lot of shared experience, isn't there? Yeah, we did. Uh, we chatted along the way, and um, Prince William helped me push miles for probably about 20, 25 minutes, which was absolutely amazing. Um, and yeah, we did talk a lot about um, Brody, about my journey, and Prince William did say, um, you know, how important that mental health was to him. So yeah. I, I'll be honest with you, Emma, and, and you know, there's so much emotion tied up in this. But every once in a while, when I've seen some of your pictures, and it almost highlights it, seeing Prince William pulling a resin horse, there is something very comic and wonderful about what you're doing at the same time. Yeah, well, I, I thought that it was just so poignant to... Um, I knew I wanted to do another walk, and because Brodie was a very talented show jumper, I just thought it was appropriate this idea had come to my head that I was going to pull this resin horse to London and people were telling me, you won't be able to do that. And I said, oh, yes, I will. Once I had it in my, my mind, I was definitely doing it. And, uh, yeah, we'll definitely get there, come rain or shine. Well, we know, Emma, this is not uh, a great weekend for you because of the memories. And uh, we wish you well and uh, hope it all goes well for the rest of the journey. Thanks so much for taking time with us today. Thank you both. Thank you. Thank you. Of course, if you have been affected by any of the topics in that report, you can find organisations which offer help and support on the BBC Action Line website. Just search bbc.co.uk forward slash action line.